If you hate the word networking as much as I do, then this video is for you. Now, introverts and networking. I think these are two words which should never be put together in the same sentence. Being an introvert, I hate those big networking events. You know, the ones where you go around telling people what is it that you do and you hand out business cards. I mean, tell me to sit alone in a room and talk to a camera. I can do that all day, every day. But to actually step out and talk to strangers, that's my worst nightmare. So if you're an introvert or you hate networking events, then I know you feel my pain. But in life, in order to succeed, you need to know people and you need to tell people what is it that you do. So in this video, I have put together three tips which will help you become a little better at networking. And before we begin, just a quick reminder to subscribe to this introverts channel. I make new content every week, so if you want to see more videos from me, then hit that red button. Alright, let's begin now. If you hate talking about yourself and that makes you feel really awkward, then stop doing it. Networking is not about pitching yourself about making conversation with people and connecting with them. So if you have to talk to a bunch of strangers you've never spoken before, then start the conversation with something very neutral. Simple things like giving a genuine compliment, noticing something nice about the other person, or the best of all, talk about the work that they have done. Now these are simple ways to sort of break the ice and jump into the conversation. And once you pass that, you can then talk about who you are, what is it that you do, and so on. you start talking to this person you've just met and suddenly you run out of things to say and there's this really awkward long silence. So what do you do? A great tip that I've picked up for this is if you run out of things to say to one person, pull more people into the conversation. Better connect two people together. It could be as simple as you know just introducing them and saying hey do you guys know each other? So if you're at a networking event and you see that there are two people in this room who could really benefit by knowing each other and talking to each other, then be that common factor. Be the one who makes that connection. It's a small world out there guys and if you add value to people and make meaningful connections with them, they will remember you and talk about you. And I think that's what networking is about. Isn't it so much easier if people already know about your work? So a great tip for networking is to do cool things. Yes, cool things. Do things which will add value to people and people can remember you for. Even if it is doing something really simple for your own boss. This way, the next time you meet them, they will tell people about what you do rather than you having to go around explaining it. And this is something which I have discovered with my videos. Many times the conversation starts with somebody already having watched one of the videos. And then it becomes so much easier for me to jump into that conversation and carry it forward. So the more value you add, the more likely people are to talk about you and promote you. And this way, I feel it becomes so much easier to feel accepted and part of a network. Here's a bonus tip for you and this is something which really works for me. And that is telling myself that I need to keep this extrovert phase on just for a few hours. You know, where I have to meet people, where I have to talk to them, tell them about my work, get work for myself. And after that, I can go back to being alone and sitting on my couch. So many times it is about stepping out of your comfort zone and pushing yourself a little bit. And this becomes easier when you know that you have to do this just for some time. Be in that extrovert zone just for a few hours or just for that event. So guys, these are my tips for making networking a little bit easier. Remember, it's not about pitching yourself or talking non-stop about your skills. But it is about making meaningful connections and adding value to someone else. Even if it means connecting to other people together. And in the end, it's important to keep that negative self-talk away and be a little more confident. So I hope you found this video useful. If you are an introvert, comment below and tell me what are your networking hacks. Or if you know an introvert, help them out and share this video with them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.